With permission, Mr Speaker, I would like to make a statement about Baroness Casey's review of the Metropolitan Police. I wish to put on record my thanks to Baroness Casey for undertaking this review on such a difficult and sensitive topic with the utmost professionalism. The Metropolitan Police Service plays a big role in our country, tackling crime throughout the capital and keeping nine million Londoners safe preventing terrorism nationally, and managing significant threats to our capital and country. Mr Speaker, I back the police. I trust them to put their safety before ours, to step into danger, to protect the most vulnerable, to support all of us at our most most fearful, painful and tragic moments. Many of us can never imagine the challenges that regular police officers face every day. That's particularly poignant as tomorrow marks the sixth anniversary of the murder of PC Keith Palmer in the line of duty whilst he was protecting all of us in this place. And for that, for their contribution, I'm sure all members will join me in thanking the police for their work. But, Mr Speaker, There have been growing concerns around the performance of the Metropolitan Police and its ability to command the confidence and trust of Londoners. This follows a series of abhorrent cases of officers who betrayed the public's trust and hideously abused their powers. In June last year, the Inspectorate announced that the force would be put into an engage phase. In July, This government appointed Sir Mark Rowley to the post of Metropolitan Police Commissioner with the express purpose of turning the organisation around. Today's report, commissioned by Sir Mark's predecessor, makes for very concerning reading. It's clear that there have been serious failures of culture, leadership and standards within the Metropolitan Police. That's why Sir Mark Rowley's top priority since becoming Commissioner has been to deliver a plan to turn around the Met and restore confidence in policing in London. Baroness Casey's report finds deep-seated cultural issues in the force, persistent poor planning and short-termism, a failure of local accountability, insularity and defensiveness, a lack of focus on core areas of policing, including public protection. And she highlights the recent decline in trust and confidence in the Met among London's diverse communities. The report underlines the fact that the Met faces a long road to recovery. Improvements must be made as swiftly as possible, but some of the huge challenges for the organisation may take years to fully address. Baroness Casey is clear that Sir Mark and Deputy Commissioner Lynn Owens accept the scale of these challenges, and I know this to be true from my own work with them. I will ensure that the Metropolitan Police have all the support from central government they need to deliver on Sir Mark's pledge of more trust, less crime and high standards. Every officer in the force needs to be part of making these changes happen. As I said, as soon as I became Home Secretary, I want all forces to focus relentlessly on common sense policing that stops crime and keeps the public safe. This government is already providing the Metropolitan Police with support to do just that. Funding for the force will be up to £3.3 billion in 2023, a cash increase of £178 million compared with 2010 and the force has by far the highest funding per capita in England and Wales. As a result of the government's police uplift programme, the Metropolitan Police has more officers than ever before, over 35,000 as of December. The Home Office is providing funding to the force to deliver innovative projects to tackle drug misuse and county lines. We are working with police and health partners to roll out a national right care, right person model to free up frontline officers 
to focus on investigating and fighting crime and ensuring that people in mental health crises get the right care from the right agency at the right time. Mr Speaker, it is vital that the law-abiding public do not face a threat from the police themselves. Those who are not fit to wear the uniform must be prevented from doing so, and where they are revealed, they must be driven out of force and face justice. We've taken steps to ensure that forces are tackling weaknesses in their vetting systems. I've listened to Sir Mark and his colleagues, and the Home Office is reviewing the police dismissals process to ensure that officers who fall short of expected standards can be quickly dismissed. The findings of Baroness Casey's review will help inform the work of Lady Angelini, whose independent inquiry, established by the government, will look at broader issues of police standards and culture. I'd like to turn to two particularly concerning aspects of Baroness Casey's report. Firstly, the report addresses questions of racism, misogyny and homophobia within the Metropolitan Police. Baroness Casey has identified evidence of discriminatory behaviour among officers, and I commend those officers who came forward to share their awful experiences with the review team. Discrimination must be tackled in all its forms, and I welcome Sir Mark's commitment to do so. I will be holding the Metropolitan Police and the Mayor of London to account by measuring their progress. I ask Londoners to judge Sir Mark and the Mayor of London not on their words, but on their actions to stamp out racist, misogynistic and homophobic behaviour. Indeed, action, not words, has been something that victims of police misconduct and criminal activity have asked for themselves. Secondly, officers working in the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command perform a vital function in protecting our embassies and keeping us, as members of Parliament, safe on the parliamentary estate. Baroness Casey's report is scathing in its analysis of the command's culture, and the whole House will be acutely aware of two recent cases of officers working in that command committing the most abhorrent crimes. I expect the Metropolitan Police to make sure that the reforms reflect the gravity of her findings while ensuring that the command's critical security functions are maintained. The Home Office and the Parliamentary Security Department will work closely with the Metropolitan Police to ensure that this happens. Mr Speaker, while I work closely with the Metropolitan Police, primary and political accountability, as Baroness Casey makes clear, sits with the Mayor of London. I spoke with the Mayor yesterday, and we are united in our support for the new Commissioner and his plan to turn around the Met so that Londoners get the police service that they deserve. Mr Speaker, we all depend on the police, who overwhelmingly do a very difficult job bravely and well. It is vital that all officers maintain the very highest standards that the public expects of them. Londoners demand nothing less. And I have every confidence that Sir Mark Rowley and his team will deliver that for them. I commend their statement to the House. Yeah.